Trade What You See with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Good morning, everyone. We're going to have um, our good friend uh, Bill Meridian from Vienna, Austria, giving us a little bit of a heads up on what's going to be happening with the French elections uh, coming up on Sunday. And as you remember, Bill absolutely nailed the Brexit. He also nailed the Trump, uh, you know, uh, uh, overthrow of government i guess that's what you'd call it but anyway he's going to have some really good cycle stuff for us but we uh we started the show like we always do with the charts of the german dax which is the equivalent of the s p 500 but folks we have to stand where the uh, action is happening now and that is in the foreign currency markets believe me we've got some really good things happening here we're going to start out with uh with the canadian dollar here because this is the one that we've had such a you know has such a strong correlation you know, to the um, the crude oil market, and as you as you know, you know the crude oil market has been in a very very bearish uh, formation uh, for quite some time. As you remember, last week when we were looking at this, uh, we were right up against this resistance at uh, fifty three dollars uh, a barrel, and then of course uh, since that time. We'll post the uh, what happened yesterday and the day before because we've had a pretty big move down uh, in this. We'll be getting down near some really good support here. About another uh, dollar a barrel lower would be my guess. But uh, oil has broken down. And remember, the correlation between the Canadian and the oil is uh, very, very high, better than 85 percent. In other words, when the Canadian goes down, so does the crude, uh, so does crude oil. What we're looking at on the other chart was the dollar Canadian. So we'll watch that uh, very, very closely. Now, the dollar index has also done exactly what we were thinking was going to happen. We'll cover the dollar index for, well, let's do the let's do the Swiss franc versus the Japanese yen because this has been a, a really nice one here over these last few days. And I just wanted to bring this to your attention too. This is not a, a cross rate that we trade frequently, but it had a perfect 61% retracement, which was the Gartley pattern finishing down there at one oh seven seventy and we've rallied about one hundred and seventy pips uh, from that level so that's uh, the first sign that there's some big things happening but boy the one that really looks the most interesting folks uh, is the euro that's the one that uh, that looks the looks the most interesting let's just put it up today uh, what we're doing here on the daily chart and then we'll we'll look at it a little bit differently as we'll go down to a little a smaller time frame so we'll be able to see it a little more clearly as you can see here we've been in this big downtrend uh, we had that 38 percent retracement up at the 109 level uh, we backed off again to 106 last night we hit the absolute spot on 61 percent retracement at uh, 107.70 that should be it folks we should not get much above that there's a possibility we could get 108.50 but the way it's setting up is this is setting up like what the british pound did you know, during uh, on June 27th last year, when we were 10, 10, uh, 150 in the pound, and we were extremely bearish because of the pattern that we had there, and then they had the huge break to the downside. Now, whether that's going to happen or not, I don't know. But we've been saying here for a very, very long time, and we'll put up the weekly chart here to let you take a look at it. That the weekly euro is still heading down towards that 99 level or even below. So that's the, the main thing that you want to keep an eye on here is that this is a bearish rally in a, you know, in a, excuse me, a bullish rally in a bear market. So, uh, and it's hit the numbers and the pattern spot on. So you can't ask for, you know, anything, uh, you know, any better than that. If we take a look uh, closely at what happens here on the uh, looking at a four hour chart, which is one of our favorites, of course, is you'll notice that the euro last night went up exactly to the 61 percent retracement and hit it at 107.70, which was um, and so far it's backed off just a small amount. But that that should be it. We should be spot on uh, with that euro from from that point. Now, if we take a look at the U.S. dollar index, and if you'll give me a second here, we will get that U.S. dollar index up, and here it is. 
at least I think it's here. Hold on. Yep, we're here. Just one second here, and we'll get this put up. And then we'll go into the gold, because the gold is another one that is uh, looking very, very interesting here. As you can see, we've come down here. There's a possibility, of course, that we could get to that 97.65 level, but I don't believe it's going to happen just because of what's happening with the euro, the pound, and all of the others. It should be really strong support here. Uh, in the uh, dollar index at this 99.50 level, and uh, that's equivalent to the 107.70 in the euro because, remember, the euro is better than 50% of that dollar index, so we should be able to watch that one very closely. The election for France comes in Sunday, so Sunday night they're going to be rocking and rolling in the uh, foreign exchange markets. You can uh, bet your sweet bippy on that one because it'll be, it'll be spot on there. Uh, ready to turn if, it, if, in fact, that is what it's going to do. Uh, one of the strategies that you might want to do is to uh, buy a put on, on Friday, and because uh, by Sunday you're not going to be able to, and uh, you know don't risk very much because that's the only way you can really control your risk uh, during these big things like elections and Brexit. And if you remember when that uh, British pound was at 150, the 150 put, um, well, excuse me, it was, the, it was the 145 put was selling for almost nothing. And the next day, you know, it dropped to 138, which was a huge win uh, win for us. But, you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. But when the patterns are right, that's what you really want to uh, really want to take a look at, because those are the ones that, you know, set up pretty good. Um, we uh, we want to take one more look here uh, this morning at the uh, because we've been watching this one for quite some time. This is one of the grains that we've been following, and keep an eye here on the uh, corn. This is a hourly chart on uh, December corn. That's new crop corn, and it's made some higher bottoms here, hitting perfect retracement numbers of 618 and 786. So that's another one that I would uh, certainly you know keep a you know, very, very close eye on. That's uh, the main thing. Now, let's get back to the nitty-gritty because everybody wants to know what's happening with the gold market. We've seen this thing, you know, move a great deal, but let's just take a look where we are this morning and we'll see where we are. So we'll just get this put up here so you'll be able to take a look at it and then you'll be able to see it. So there's the gold. As you can see here uh, over the last... Uh, Four weeks, we've had these big moves. We've now, if you look at the two red bars, the really dark bars, you know, the ABCD patterns that we look at so closely, we went right down to 1275 yesterday. That was when we were on the air. So we did get a very small rally. The rally was only $10, and we could get a rally of uh, $17, taking it us up to the 1290, 1290 level where it should have really strong resistance. Because if we get there, that's going to be the 135 pattern, and it's going to be a very interesting one, you know, to pay attention to as far as... Uh, but, but believe me, folks, if we get above 1297, that old high that we made back on the 16th, we're looking at... Uh, we're looking at probably gold on the south... or the north side of $1,400 an ounce. I don't know what it would what it would do it. It could be, uh, you know, more of the saber rattling. It could be elections. Uh, last night, the Venezuelan government took over a General Motors plant in uh, Venezuela, and that's not good. 877-927-6648. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry. Powered by the acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN. Dot com now. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN. FNN.com. Larry takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1 877 927 6648. Internationally at 727 445 1044. Okay, we're back, folks, and we have a caller from New Jersey. Beverly, are you there? I certainly am, Larry, and I want to tell you I listen to you every day, and I oh. don't mind that sometimes you, as you say, ramble on because I learned <laughs> so much from it. Uh, first off, didn't you used to be in Philadelphia? Well, we go to Philadelphia about four months a year visiting our grandkids. Um, there are three. They're going to be well. They're going to be four and six pretty soon. But yes, we go there uh, quite often. Yeah, we certainly okay, do. The it's next almost time our second home. Yeah, I would like to meet you down there. I live just around the Princeton area in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. And I'd like I you to there. drag me around to all yeah. the movie sites from Trading Places, which is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, that's for sure. I used to live in Princeton when I worked for a commodity corporation. I lived on Mount Lucas Road out that way. You, know, I, the, you, know, the you lived on Mount Lucas. I lived right around the corner from you. Well, maybe Literally. we passed each other once in a while. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly. Well, Mount Lucas was actually behind our house. We, we oh were on 206. Goodness. Yeah, well, that's good. Listen, yeah. um, what would you like to ask about today? Well, you had mentioned something the other day that, that didn't surprise me, but I wonder if you'd expound on it. And that is, you said, uh, this is regarding the VIX, you said mm -hmm. don't be surprised if it's over 50 by fall. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's correct. Well, how about filling in the blanks? Okay. Well, first of all, if you historically look at the long-term picture of the VIX and you go back, mm -hmm. let's say, let's say we have something half as bad as what happened in 2008, which, you know, we were very bearish during that time. You know, the VIX yep. got all the way up to 96. I know that. So, you know, <laughs> if you cut it in half, I figured, and, and we've hit 50 several times since then on, you know, really strong rallies. But Mm -hmm. you know, the, the culture that we have now with all the news that's going on with the saber rattling and uh, trade embargoes and everything else, any one of those things could trigger a, a big sell off in stocks, which mm -hmm. would make the volatility index, you know, go up because people still do not believe the volatility index has, is any good anymore. But, you mm -hmm. know, long term history says that it certainly is. All I did. Beverly was I just uh, took one half of the move that happened in 2008 in other words from you know we went from about 12 to 96 so I figured it might mm -hmm. go half as much uh, up to around the 50 per 50 percent level we're trading at around 15 right now so I do believe sometime in the fall we're going to be up at that level 
And and you're, you're targeting the fall because that that's when all well mostly yes, all see, of the, yeah. the stock market tragedies happen in September and October. Well, that's right. Those are the bearish months. September and October are the two most bearish months in the stock market. So you know that's what I'm looking. at. The other thing is is you know we have a, a still a very large number of people that are bullish stocks and you know they're still going up. But most everybody that's bought during March, uh, most February and March now are underwater. So, mm -hmm. you know, if the market does start to sell off, they'll start to, you know, get a little panicky and that could push the market down a little bit, a little bit lower. And then another thing, Beverly, is we have that sell in May that's go due uh, any time. Yeah, sell in May and go away. That could be happening. So all of those are things that make me believe that we should be heading down, uh, you know, into the fall. Have you ever heard of Cliff High? Oh, boy. He's the guy with the WebBot report. Uh, no, no, I don't know who that is. I'm sorry, I don't know. Well, he he does uh, uh, linguistics, okay? He does perspective linguistics or something like that. And he's uh, he, he basically takes the words people use and then uh, the way they express them, and he's he's been incredibly accurate of his predictions. And he also says that things are going to fall apart in fall. Okay, well, you know, I, I don't know who he is, but, uh, you know, I really don't look at any of the uh, news items or anything. All I do is right. look at the charts. As you know, I'm just a pattern recognition programmer or, you know, mm -hmm. a person. So when I when I look at the patterns, I try to think, you know, what could possibly, you know, make something, you know, move. And when I see all the things that are happening in the world, I mean, for Venezuela to take over a, a General Motors plant, yeah. Why didn't they take over? Why didn't they take over a Nissan plant? Why did they have to pick on General Motors? <laughs> well, th then they took they took their checking account, and the, mm -hmm. they, they can't even pay their people or their vendors. Oh, well, so I mean, this is socialism, yeah. communism is what we have here. Yeah, it's an overthrow of the government, and it's going to get you know a lot worse, I guess. But well, see, these are, these are things that are happening all over, and you know we're not very far from that in our country. The way, you know, people are protesting about everything. I mean, my goodness, mm -hmm. they. Uh, well, you know, who knows what's going to happen? This is social things that uh, they're beyond my pay grade, my my dear. I wish I knew. Okay. Hey, the next time you head toward Philadelphia, well, you just drop me, drop it on me the air. Yeah. Yeah, drop me. Oh, no, no, I can't do that. That's a, oh. that's a family thing. No, I get in big trouble if I do that. The reason why is is that the uh, we have just a short period of time, you know, that we're uh -huh. there, usually five or six weeks. But, you know, we can always arrange for lunch or something like that. But drop me an email, and I will, uh, you know, let you know when we're in the area. And usually what happens is we'll have three or four traders uh, all together. You know, we'll all, you know, we'll all go to a diner. So usually it's a Fourth Street diner. There, uh, you I know, know just in, where that is. Yeah, that's Love where that place. Live. So we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll we'll meet around then. Okay. Okay. Good enough. Thank bye you bye very much. Mary. You bet. Thanks for calling in, yep. Beverly. Really appreciate. Yep. It. Okay. Okay. Getting back to the social implications of this, folks. Uh, as most of you, well, all of you that listen to me here know that I don't know diddly squat about these uh, this politicians and all this other stuff. I I focus on what the charts are doing. I've been doing that for so long. I I wouldn't know how to do anything else. What I do look at <coughs> is the elections and things like that, and the one we're having in in France. And the reason why that one's so important is the. Um, the favorite to uh, win this uh, first part of the election is uh, Madame Le Pen, and she is a uh, a, a right winger. Uh, excuse me. Yes, yeah, she's on the. Excuse me. She's on the left side, and so that would mean that they possibly would be pulling out of the euro, much like they did in the UK. And if France pulls out of the UK. Uh, the euro is in super big trouble because the only big one left after that is the um, is the uh, the 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 German uh, the German mark, and that's certainly not going to happen. They're 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 entrenched. They'll go all, they'll go down to the to the to the wire with that. So we'll see. Anyway, that'll be interesting to watch the election results. But right now, the way it looks is this thing is ready to. Um, 
the euro is getting ready to uh, you know, have a correction. We're in a very long-term bear market in this, and all we've had over these last six weeks is a really nice uh, you know, retracement level in the euros. Each of the bottoms in the euros have been perfect Fibonacci numbers, as we posted here. Uh, in the den, so you've been able to to see some of them, and also, you know, with the uh, British pound, that we've had some really nice, uh, really nice moves in the British pound. Yesterday, of course, we posted that British pound from uh, the one in uh, that we had when we got up to that 129 level. That was, uh, you know, spot on an A B C D pattern that was just, uh, you know, really. Uh, you know, really right on the right on the money. So anyway, we'll just watch these as we come in Sunday night. But frankly, what I would be doing is kind of keep an eye on a on a put for the euro as you come into Friday. And um, but you know, the the higher it gets, it's actually the better because that's that means the put would be at a a cheaper price. But if we're correct, we shouldn't get above 108 in the euro. Uh, we could get to 108.50. That would be that would be the higher end of the band. 108.50 to possibly. Yeah, the outside maybe 109. 877 927 Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24 7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up to the date, active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full customization capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, we're back, folks, and we've got Bill Meridian from Cycles Research, Vienna, Austria, on the air, and Bill... I know you've got something to tell us. I have two things to mention. First of all, 
Uh, we certainly want to thank you for your heads up on the Brexit that was spot on, and then also on the U.S. election that was spot on. You predicted both of those upsets, and I know you got something for us today, but we have a question from one of our listeners uh, regarding the differences between Vedic astrology and tradition astrology. I know you do both, but you're actually a specialist in Vedic, as I recall. No, I'm not. You have me confused nope. with someone else. Okay, well. <laughs> but the, the difference is the following. Uh, Vedic is primarily used in India, and it uses the sidereal zodiac. In other words, it adjusts for slippage in the zero Aries vernal point, which is about one degree every 72 years. So in the tropical system, I'm a Taurus. In the sidereal system, I'm an Aries. Mm -hmm. And uh, okay. it's a completely different uh, system and approach, but they come to... Uh, I think it's best to know both, and my teacher, Charles Jane, was an expert in both, but uh, I only uh, study tropical. I've uh, had a little exposure to Vedic. Okay, good. Okay, and what would you like to start with? Start with your uh, eclipse chart from August. I believe that's the Trump chart that you've mentioned several well, times. August, Is that correct? Well, I want to start, start at the beginning so everybody understands everything, but when eclipses occur, they start to dominate all the, the energy around them, months in advance and as long as a year and, and many years afterwards. And a general rule of thumb from Charles Jane, who studied this for over 50 years, was 90 days before as much to a year after. But we already have signs this eclipse is very active. And I'll, I'll show you why. First of all, it is conjunct Regulus, one of the four royal stars of Persia. In 1979, when that degree was eclipsed, the Shah fell from power. So immediately when you see this, you connect it to Persia, which is today Iran. So this is um, now the next slide. If we go to three, President Trump, okay. the eclipse is on his Mars. The, uh, his Mars is 26, almost 27 degrees Leo. The eclipse is 29. And I just want to say a quick word about this. It's set for 9.51 a.m., which is the time I've always used. That comes from the first Lois Rodden database, and she cites as the source his mother. And Charles used to say the mother is the best source. Since that time, I confirmed this, by the way, with Marla Maples and Tiffany Trump in New York and in London when I last two times I saw them. And so subsequently, the campaign has released, released a time of 1050-something, and what the Lois Rodden database has dropped the old time and put this new one in. But I rectified the chart, and I believe, as Charles Jane said, the accurate chart is the one that you can make forecasts with, and I've rectified this for his marriages, and so that's the time I'm using. So I've got 17 Leo rising as opposed to 29 on the other one. Mm -hmm. Bill, so you might not remember this, but about 20 years ago, um, you and Victoria Martin rectified my chart separately. Uh, the little the little hospital I was born in, in Clinton, Indiana, had born had burned down, so no one really had any records of it. And you both came within five minutes of the exact time that I was born. That was, you know, told by my aunt who was with my mother. Uh, when she gave birth. So this rectification things always impressed me that how you're able to do that. So uh, I've always appreciated that. So thank you very much. And you want to go on to chart four? Yeah. Well, a quick word. And by 1958-59, Charles Jane and his group had rectified 4,000 horoscopes by hand. Wow. Anyway, activation of the solar eclipse. How do we know it's active? On April 7th, transiting Mars up in the sky hit 20 degrees Taurus and squared the Mars here at 20 degrees Leo. And that was the day of the U.S. missile barrage against Syria. Mm -hmm. So number one. Now today, uh, yesterday and today, Mars squares the eclipse degree, expect aggressive action, Mideast, Russia, Central USA. Today, I altered this. You know, I just sent this, you know, this new one. This morning on Bloomberg, Rex Tillerson says that the Iran deal is not a good one. And that's what I said the last time. I think the whole... Yeah. What this eclipse is about is going to be Trump's, the Trump administration's opposition to the agreement that the previous administration made with Iran. And today, Mars squares the eclipse point, and what happens? Rex Tillerson comes out and says, we, we don't like that deal, which tells you the countdown is now on. So, uh, and by the way, I just wanted to say an additional word that in my book, Predictive Power of Eclipse Pass, I pointed out that eclipses at tw in, the, uh, in late degrees of fixed signs, in other words, 29 Leo, late Taurus, late Scorpio, late Aquarius, have all been associated with world wars 
And the last time we had a planet there, it was Uranus and late Aquarius, was when they did the uh, bombing attack against uh, Kosovo under the Clinton administration. And they always bring up the Balkans, the threat of world war breaking out. And again, they're doing it, but there's not enough evidence here to indicate a, a widespread war is going to break out. One eclipse will not do it. Mm -hmm. But whenever you see activation at 29, there are worries about world war. So if we go to the next oh, slide, this, okay. this cuts right across the United States, as you can see. Now, my experience has been, to give you a couple examples, there was an eclipse on the Chinese-Vietnamese border way back in the 70s, the 70s or 70s, when uh, China launched that limited war against Vietnam. And mm -hmm. there was an eclipse that was right along the border between Spain and France across the Pyrenees Mountains. And, you know, I was thinking to myself, well, nobody lives there. You know, what could it signify? And I turn on 60 Minutes or one of these magazine shows, and it turns out people would cross the border to take advantage of the lower taxes, and they would buy goods routinely. So finally, mm -hmm. one government or the other set up a barrier to stop them, and there were riots, and two people were killed. So even if it's a, even if it's a relatively barren area, we had an eclipse path run through the Falkland Islands, and we know nothing ever happens there, and of course, Argentina invaded. So it tends to take whatever's going on in that area and intensify it. And this eclipse path is almost the same as those in the birth charts of Robert E. Lee, who we know was the Confederate general who led their forces in the war between the states, and Harriet Beecher Stowe, who wrote the book Uncle Tom's Cabin. The book was so influential that when Abe Lincoln met her, he said, so this is the little lady who started the big war. So it's got to do with divisions inside the country. And uh, right now, I think, and I had noted this early on, that Barack Obama was not leaving D.C., and he's got uh, a new Organizing for America, OFA, with 250 offices and 30,000 people. And suddenly we have black masked professional provocateurs. I think that's what this is about. I think those types of, of uh, that type of uh, disruption will be nationwide by August. Wow. Essentially, people who oppose the Trump administration being funded uh, from who knows who through this Organization for America and other organizations. So it's very similar to the eclipse paths that are associated with the war between the states, but it's not, uh, it's not the same. And so it will take divisions within the country and it will just, it depends what's going on. If your tribe A doesn't like tribe B, an eclipse path goes through that area, they're either going to come to a peaceful accord or they're going to fight. It depends what's happening in that area. And that is what I think is happening. And if okay. we can just go to the next slide, I want to zoom in okay. now. Okay. This is a technique that is also, it's in my Eclipse book. The uh, lines that you see, this is an astrocartography map or ACG. And okay, we, we got to take, a, we gotta take a little break money. and we'll, we'll be right back. Stay with us, Bill. Bill Marino's Research, Vienna, Austria. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? EverBank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. EverBank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, visit everbank.com slash TFNN to find out what they can do for you. Again, that's everbank.com slash TFNN. Visit them today. EverBank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. TFNN has put together the finest live programming lineup each trading day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected financial minds in the nation to educate traders and investors. On Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, we broadcast nine hours a day starting at 8 a.m. as John Logan kicks us off each trading day with the Global Market Pulse. 
Tuesdays and Thursdays. We broadcast 11 hours. Get an early and healthy start to your day as Nico and Paige bring you Living a Primal Lifestyle. Then catch Andy Hecht at 5 p.m. with the Commodities Hour following the Tom O'Brien Show. Mondays and Fridays, catch live trading on the Nadex platform with host Tom and Tommy O'Brien along with Daryl Martin on the Bull Bear Binary Option Hour. See the TFNN program lineup via the link on the front page of TFNN.com to get a complete overview of our TFNN shows and hosts and keep TFNN's Tiger TV tuned in on your mobile device, PC, or Mac for the latest financial news and information throughout the broadcasting day. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Catch the Money Masters as they teach you the art of mastering money when it comes to trading and investing. Next on TFNN. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Bill Meridian, Cycles Research, Vienna, Austria. And Bill, we have that eclipse chart up, so you want to continue with that? Sure. The vertical lines that you see are the planets in the horoscope of the eclipse. So any, myself, Larry, anybody listening, you can have an ACG or astrocartography map computed for your own horoscope. And it shows you where the planets in your chart have their greatest effect. So, for example, Jackie Kennedy, her Jupiter line ran right through Athens, right through Greece, and she married Aristotle Onassis, or Pluto line went right through Dallas for John F. Kennedy, where he was assassinated, and was out in the ocean for Gerald Ford everywhere except San Francisco, and he went there twice, and both times the Manson family shot at him. So that's how these things work. And I developed this technique of, it is the eclipse path is the red line, and the vertical and curved lines are the planets in the horoscope of the eclipse. And I found that where they intersect, you get a, a special intensification of the energy and so you see the red line circled, that's Mars on the midheaven, which means Mars is somewhat overhead on a line running north-south right through Cheyenne and through Denver, Colorado. So that's an area where, where the Martian or aggressive energy would be particularly powerful. Then to the right, circled, you see a gold, a couple of gold symbols. That is where the eclipse itself is directly on the midheaven, and that runs straight south through Sioux Falls, Omaha, Wichita, Little Rock, and Houston. So these are areas where the energy is particularly focused. And to give you an example, Mars intersected one of these, these types of lines when we had the first shooting of a black man in the southeastern United States. Was that Montgomery, was it called? I don't remember the name of the town anymore. But um, that's, the, uh, that's how you can localize this and use a sort of a microscope approach as opposed to a telescope. Mm -hmm. wow. So that that is what I think this eclipse means. And, you know, I emailed you yesterday, if we switch, or two days ago, to the next chart. The question came up, what about the French elections? And I know very little about uh, French elections, but I managed to get the birth times of Marine Le Pen and Emmanuel Macron. And that is Le Pen's chart. Can we switch mm -hmm. to the next one, Emmanuel sure. Macron? So is that, now that, where is, is that the is that the Bernie Sanders of France? Which one? Uh, Macron. I I know little about French politics. So. Oh, I, someone said that he was the the Bernie Sanders of, <laughs> of, okay, uh, all right. of France, but I don't know. I don't know if that's true or not. So <laughs> I don't know either. But what I'm pointing out here is, first of all, I mean to not see this, you've got. The eclipse coming up, we've already shown that the eclipse is active. Where is it? 29 Leo. Where is his Saturn? Zero Virgo. In other words, 
it's on his Saturn with an orb of one degree, and look where his Saturn is square is midheaven, 29 Scorpio, which is his reputation. And the next couple of days, as I, as I mentioned, Mars, I mentioned at the beginning that Mars is setting off the eclipse. Well, Mars is transiting a 29 Taurus right at the bottom. This is making a big T-square over the weekend. And I, I can't see how this could be positive for his reputation. It's completely the reverse because the midheaven is your reputation and how you're known. And on mm -hmm. top of that, if you look where his sun is, 29 Sagittarius, well, Saturn right now is around 27, 28. It just went retrograde. So he's got Saturn conjunct his sun, and he's got this Saturn midheaven square that is being activated by the eclipses. So I can't see how that would be considered favorable. It's uh, that it jumped out at me. Otherwise, I wouldn't have even sent you a note. And mm -hmm. so if we go to the next page, now Le Pen, Jupiter is transiting on her ascendant. This is like the difference between night and day. And on mm -hmm. the 21st, which is tomorrow, Uranus is contraparallel, uh, is pa contraparallel Jupiter. That's, uh, I left the Jupiter out. But that's regarded as good luck. And these things have an orb for about at least a week on either side. So that encompasses the weekend. Macron, Saturn conjunct his sun. And the one negative I did see in Le Pen's chart is Pluto is 180 degrees to her midheaven, which is her reputation and career. But Pluto is also 90 to Macron's converse progressed midheaven, which is a method of, of prediction. So if we can go to the next slide. Uh, Bill, we have a question yep. from one of our listeners. Sure. Um, you know, you were spot on on the Brexit and then also on the Trump thing on what the markets would react to. What do you think will happen uh, as far as foreign currencies you know, with this uh, with this type of thing, do you have a, a prediction of what you think might happen? Well, I did. Um, I was going to save the markets to the to the end of this, if I could. Oh, okay, okay. I'm sorry. Sorry. Go yeah, ahead. That's yeah, okay. I'm sorry. No, yeah, I'll, but just just remind me before we run it, because okay, here sure here we have a 90 degree dial. Now, a 90 degree dial, it's uh, the same as the 360 degree horoscope, except it's 90 degrees. Four into 360 is 90, which is a standard method of analysis. And here we see this is the progressed Le Pen horoscope. This is this is by secondary progression, and this is the type of stuff you will not see, this mm -hmm. type of precision stuff. But look where her progressed sun is almost on the world point, which is zero degrees of Aries right at the top of the chart. Mm -hmm. It's um, equal to Kronos Midheaven. Now, Midheaven, again, that's his progressed Midheaven. Kronos has got to do with being elevated or being in a position of authority. And uh, this is very powerful. Just having the sun on the world point means the whole world hears about you or knows about you. Now, Hillary Clinton was born with this. We all know her by her first name, Hillary. Mm -hmm. And so this, I think, is very powerful. And then I go down to the next one. This is Le Pen. That is her natal horoscope. The previous one was her progressed horoscope. This is her natal horoscope on a 90 degree dial. And I have the pointer, the red, the red dial points to the sun at the bottom of the chart. And if you see these little tick lines, these little green and red lines that you see on the inner side of the chart, mm -hmm. that is where her solar arc is right now. And that's the primary method that, you know, Victoria and I would use to rectify your chart or anybody's chart. And right now it equals, well, Apollon and the, the uh, where I circled that ellipse that green line, that funny little looking symbol is Apollon and Aries is the zero Aries point. Well, there's nothing better for getting your name known. And it's on the midheaven Jupiter midpoint. So this is like, you know, to me, it doesn't even look close. So mm -hmm. to get back to uh, the question about the currencies, I read a survey. It was very interesting. I put it in my institutional weekly piece that uh, people at central banks around the globe are very uncertain about the euro. And so have you noticed that the euro and the dollar have both declined? They tended to be weak this far in April. And usually one moves opposite direction to the other. They are very concerned about the uh, eurozone. And so they don't want to buy any more euros. So they're buying sterling. And when they run out of sterling, they have to find another non-dollar denominated asset, and that's gold. So you've mm -hmm. had gold going up, the dollar going down, the euro going down, and sterling going up. So I think uh, a victory by Le Pen would uh, send the euro down uh, because of these these doubts. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. You were certainly right about the British pound, my friend. 
Yeah, well, hey, that, we're gonna if have... you look at that, that, the pound sold off in one day, Larry. It dropped very sharply. And did it hit 115? That was a prior low from years yes. ago. It hit it in one day in reverse right back to the upside. And when you see yeah. that off of a low, you have to say that people said 115, I'm in, and they all jumped in, and they completely mm -hmm. reversed it within a day to the upside. Yeah, they certainly did. We're going to take a little break, Bill. We'll be yeah. right back with Bill Meridian sure. of Psychos Research, Vienna, Austria. I'm Steve Rhodes, host of The Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're back with Bill Meridian of Cycles Research. Bill, uh, would you want to take a few seconds to our minute or so, whatever you need to do, to let yep. the folks know how they yes. can reach you and how would you oh. like to end up the show? No problem. Well, uh, BillMeridian.com is the website, and the email is Bill at Cycles, Cycles within us, CyclesResearch.com. And can we can we jump to the next slide? Because I like these, these next two. This is the one with the comment? Uh, well, this is... Apply contrary opinion. June 2016, Holbert operations. Holbert monitored over 500 market letters. I get an email saying they're ceasing operations. So I, I called Arch Crawford. He said, you mean there's so little interest in investment letters that they're going to close down? That's got to be a buy signal. And the second one is Donald Trump. It says that's Der Spiegel, the German magazine. This is November, the end of the world. Now let's go to the next one and look where they occurred. 
<laughs> right on the bottom. <laughs> right on the lows. Yeah, sure did. Holy if cow. You drop, drop one more. What you're looking at here is this is VIX divided by VXV. And mm -hmm. the peaks here tend to coincide with S&P lows. Well, look where it is now. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm hanging in there bullish, even though the market hasn't cooperated. The technicals are weaker than the cycles. Mm -hmm. And uh, this means when it's high, there's much more concern about the short term than there is about the long term. When it's low, it means people are very comfortable with the short term. Mm -hmm. So when that, ratio, when that ratio is low and hits a bottom, it means people are not concerned at all about the short term. They're looking at the long term, and that's when tops usually occur. Hmm. So it is, is. these are all sentiment indicators. Sure. Now, you wanted to mention about the gold here uh, as, we, as we wrap up yeah. the show. Well, that, that's the reason. You know, the gold right now, I think, is short term. It's in an uptrend. I know it pulled back pretty big, I think, yesterday. But um, uh, I'm still bullish on gold, at least uh, into the month of May. And then if you want to go down one more, I have a blatant capitalist advertisement. That is okay. in search <laughs> 2, which we sell. This is okay. the old magazine published by Charles Jane, and then we have my book, Predictive Power of Eclipse Pass, and there we have me as one of the top as the top ten timer for 2016. Bill, thank so, you Larry, very much, my friend. Thank you. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Bye. You bet. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com.